Top TV, Truth of the People. Welcome to Top TV from wherever you're watching from. Thank you so much for joining us. And today we have an amazing guest with us on set. She's Anwa Weru, a gospel artist. Karibu sana. Thank you. Yes, how have you been? Imekuwaje? Imekuwa poa. Yes. Okay, and maybe tell us about a little bit of your journey. Imekuwaje, you're a gospel artist. Yes. Umekuwaje until, who is Anne today? Me, I'm Anne Wawero. Yeah, I have, I'm a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. And the journey, I jakuwa raisi, mm -hmm. as in you have to start from somewhere mm -hmm. to be someone, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the journey, bado tunangangana, bado tujafika, we are still... So maybe ulianzaje, how was the start? The start was, so yeah. Mm -hmm. The start, I started uh, recording my first song mm -hmm. at UD Studio based uh, in Rongai at St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. That's why I started recording my first song. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So at UD Studio, what exactly is happening there? Or do they record only or the other stuff going on there? No, no, UD Studio is a big production. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was, as I can say, mm -hmm. they do recording. They also do video shooting. Yeah, it is a, a beehive of mm -hmm of things happening there yeah. good things mm -hmm. yeah as I, like, as I can say mm -hmm. yeah all right thank you so much on that now Anne. yes you've started the journey being a gospel artist yeah what motivated you to get into the gospel industry to be specific uh what motivated me mm -hmm. a gospel artist mm -hmm. ni, of me myself i like singing for god i don't say like singing it's singing is not for okay you but I like singing gospel. Mm -hmm. What motivated me, it is like when I sing, kama nime ninasikia sina nguvu nikimba tu, that's what give me back my strength. You una feel kwa yeah, ni, power tu. Ni kwa tu, ni ata tu nikimba tu kwa last moja nikiwa down, I feel I'm okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what motivated me because, you know, mm -hmm. watu wanasemanga, mm -hmm. mziki ni, ni dawa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, maybe tell us your secret. What is keeping you going in the gospel industry? Because most of the times we've seen musicians start, alafu, they just fall off, they backslide. What is making you, what is driving you? First of all, mm -hmm. uh, what makes me going in gospel music is like, uh, that is my call. Mm -hmm. gospel artist, yeah. We, uh, Can you call it a talent? Or? <laughs> <laughs> it's a talent, it's a mm -hmm. call, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's keeping me uh, going is um, motivation. Napata motivation kutoka kwa wazazi wangu and my two kids. Mm -hmm. Also, they, yeah, even my two kids because, uh, yeah, like when I'm with them, mm -hmm. by the way, they play, they have, they play instrument, music instrument. Mm -hmm. One is a violinist mm -hmm. and one is a pianist. Wow, so, so when you know, I mean, training your kids from you're a musician yourself, and then you're training your kids doing what you do. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. So maybe Anne, in your career as well, maybe uh, at times you find we kids while in high school or even while in the primary, when you realize our talents, you mm -hmm. find maybe your parents want you to pursue something else, and then yourself you have a talent. Mm -hmm. So how was it like? Your parents, unajua say u kiambi mzazi. I have a, I have a passion in singing. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you're in high school. You know, the parent will be like, so my son wants to sing. So it's something I tam letea pesa. It's something it won't help him. So how was it like? Did your parents motivate you towards your career? Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in support sana, mm -hmm. especially my dad. Yeah, he mm -hmm. motivated me because he normally says, eh, mm -hmm. ni lazima tu somi, lazima masomo iwe. Mm -hmm. And let me you cultivate your your talent or your mm -hmm. gifts, because mm -hmm. uh, in either way, mm -hmm. it it is that you have to you have to let me kwanza when the education, mm -hmm. and then still in education you have to cultivate mm -hmm. your talent, yeah? yeah. So, yeah. Okay, and now looking at the current space of the gospel industry in Kenya, mm. um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, considering that the gospel industry has been affected majorly, looking at, we've seen artists start and then wanaacha kuimba muziki, the gospel. So 
for you what message are you giving the people or what exactly are you motivating us in the gospel industry yeah uh you know, the motivation in gospel uh in the gospel music mm -hmm. is just keep on hold on there si ati kukiwa kungumu na backslider ma unaacha kwanza just keep on keep on moving mm -hmm. and as we are told <coughs> We can uh, we can be also gospel artist or secular artist, mm -hmm. but we as gospel artists eh, mm -hmm. we should keep on holding there because God's time God's time is always the best mm -hmm. and yeah to okay. see choke to mm -hmm. see choke kumwimbia mungu that's what I can say <laughs> <laughs> okay there are other girls like you mm -hmm. who are starting off and then they feel like they're not going to make it in the journey. Um, maybe would you tell us would you tell them a secret mm -hmm. what they should go about it yeah uh, a secret about what it is in the call in the gift in the talent mm -hmm. you can't just wake up one day and say you're giving up on your dreams it's not possible mm -hmm. see possible so you have to keep pushing kabisa mm -hmm. into your dream because eh? mm -hmm. if you give up I don't see the reason why you should give up on your dream because mm -hmm. or your talent because this is something God has given you. Mm -hmm. So, so you remember those people when you walipewa walipewa talents kwa Bible. Yeah. Kuna mwenye alipewa moja mm -hmm. akaifanya ngapi? <laughs> <laughs> we just let it pass but uh okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we should keep on cultivating sure. our gifts and yeah because yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, and so in your journey, mm -hmm. there's something, um, for instance, there are girls who are out here, they just want to know how they can start off maybe getting to a studio, recording a song, what does it take? Unaanza wapi pale? Kuna mtu pale, maybe they got some, they've written songs as you said, but mm -hmm. they haven't had the chance to record or even assess something where they could showcase their talent as well. So what do you advise them? Uh, my advice is like um uko umeandika song na okay you know most of the thing that keeps uh, keeps people off mm -hmm. of recording their songs mm -hmm. ni kukosa pesa alafu kukosa, kukosa motivation sure kwa kwa pesa so, kwa kwa pesa yeah personally how did you handle it at that point uh, at mm -hmm. that point mm -hmm. <laughs> you know okay i i also i also work eh? yeah, sure. okay so i have to minimize things so that i can get to cultivate my mm -hmm. my talent mm -hmm. which is the song so i had to save some money mm -hmm. help from my mom my dad and my sister mm -hmm. so that's how i started okay ukiwa tu na ukiwa wewe unataka ku record wimbo mm -hmm. and you don't have money talk to your parents even friends yeah yeah talk to your friends also they can help even your family members mm -hmm. because you can still be there and saying sina pesa but there is someone out there who can help you sure. but also keep on visiting the studios and be open and be free mm -hmm. to talk eh? mm. yeah and also yeah so um the journey seems to be good so how are you balancing the work and the music career yeah the work Work in Lazma to find kazi, because that's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's how we are getting. That's how we are getting the sources. Mm. Our daily, our daily uh, resources. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what I do, mm -hmm. I work during the day, mm -hmm. and uh, before Corona, yeah. before lockdown, mm -hmm. I used, that's when I recorded my songs. Eh? Okay, so yeah. I used to do recording at night. Mm -hmm. So I have to persevere. So you work during the day. You unatoka job, una kuja home, you look, uh, unangalia watoi, alafu, then you create time mm -hmm. in the night to record. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also in my off days, yeah. I was also doing recording mm -hmm. during my off days. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's great. Now, in the midst of a pandemic, how are you coping? How has been your sector affected? Hey, it has been uh, affected a lot because hey, this is a... Uh, yeah, this is a worldwide sure. thing, yeah, which is affecting every area. Hakuna mm -hmm. ile affected by the way na COVID. So, we are still we are still holding on there. How are you keeping it afloat? I mean, anyway, it's a lot, but how are you making sure that umesonga, umesonga, everything is just going on fine well? 
okay i can't say like kila kitu inaenda fine well mm-hmm. you know when i say <laughs> <laughs> when i, I mean, say to cope pandemic but yeah. as a musician you yeah. just have to cope ju sasa usiseme pandemic iko hapa you just have to keep quiet and mm. say when it ends i'll just mm. get back to studio mm. and do my thing so in this time unafanya nini to keep your journey on okay to keep my journey on yeah. uh, i still hold on into my career pushing through kuskuma mm-hmm. ndio you know you can't stay the, you can't be stagnant hata kama kuna covid you can't be stagnant by the way you have to keep on moving cuz mm-hmm. we don't know when this thing will will uh, will end eh? mm-hmm. yeah by the look of things mm-hmm. we have to cope with the situation so coping with the situation it's hard mm. but to make yeah. yeah so and today so far how many songs have you done i have done five songs mm-hmm. Yeah, all recorded at UD Studio. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yes. Now maybe you could share um which is your best song and maybe the message in it. Okay. My best song is goes by the name Amani. Mm-hmm. Yes. The message in it. Mm-hmm. It is a motivation song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cuz you know Amani ni kila kitu. Kama una Amani. Hauna, you don't have If you don't have peace every, you don't see everything not going on well so sure. the motivation about that song it was just um to keep people mm-hmm. alive eh? yeah. yani wachanga mke cuz you know people are going through many things so i decided to do only oh, why what would i do a money yeah. yeah okay thank you so much on that and now looking at the gospel industry again mm-hmm. we've seen uh, like the gospel musicians having some collaborations with other musicians mm-hmm. so um, in your sector what are you doing to make sure that um, you get to the right person and give the right message according to the gospel industry because actually <coughs> you know a squeezy artist uh, shying away from the gospel industry mm-hmm. when I get maybe somebody switches from the gospel industry and I get to the secular music so how about this transition kwako imekuaje okay kwangu uh imekuwa uh imekuwa sawa i don't see anything wrong mm-hmm. in gospel mm-hmm. or transiting into secular mm-hmm. cause you know um some people have that uh, thing of If I can sing, I can also do, if I can sing, I can also sing mm-hmm. secular. Yeah. But yet you started as a gospel artist, mm-hmm. but you're switching off mm-hmm. to being a secular artist. Mm-hmm. Uh I don't see any problem in gospel music mm-hmm. so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't have a clarity sentence or when you take a so for instance <laughs> yes. for instance uh-huh. let's say uko na best maybe they are gospel artists and then they suddenly they just switch to secular music in your own perspective what do you think about it na pia ukiwa ndani kwa field ya gospel industry what do you think about them wow hmm <laughs> okay it's quite tricky mm-hmm. that one cuz everybody chooses their way sure and the, what they want what they want you know like nowadays you mm-hmm. can see everybody even you can you can you can study something and then long long later long one ah what any switch off ni ende nifanye career ingine i okay that's the main thing but it is their own willing yeah, yeah. so it's not, it does not mean that in the gospel artist kuna kitu inaenda wrong mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. everything is okay okay yeah Now maybe tell us let us understand about uh, the music mm-hmm. the money in the gospel industry the connection in it is it that people maybe are shying away from the gospel industry maybe to the other genres of music to get more money I think it's not is okay everything mm-hmm. you do you know um even if you're singing gospel yeah mm-hmm. you sing mm-hmm to get some money mm-hmm. but i don't think uh, maybe they're going because of popularity mm-hmm. sure. yeah popularity because mm-hmm. uh okay when you do secular as i see when you do secular mm-hmm. yeah you see they see like they have more uh wakona ma fans wengi yeah. but it's all the same mm-hmm. in secular and in gospel yeah. yeah it depends on the message you're giving out to people mm-hmm. you see you can do also uh 
a gospel song with different beats. Yeah. You see, <laughs> okay, like nowadays the new generation era we are in here, yeah? you know, Marie do gospel, you know, the gospel for Kitambo, the beats they were, but now mm -hmm. you do a gospel song with the Ringara beats, mm -hmm. it, is, it, it is good. Mm. So I don't see the reason why you should, you should switch yeah? mm -hmm. to go to secular <laughs> because you can. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, and finalizing, so many girls are looking at you outside here. So, what could you tell them? Parting shot. Parting shot, eh? One, ni tujiamini. Tujiamini sisi wasichana, wa mama. Because most of us, we are, we are mothers, eh? Oh. Yes, we are mothers. As me, I'm a mother. So, I can also talk to also two young mothers out there. Tujiamini, we can do everything. We can do everything, yeah. and musiku uh, shy off because you know when you know when a woman or the girl is appointed somewhere to uh, acquire something, eh? <laughs> we don't marry shy off. We don't marry say why me. Mm -hmm. You don't have you have to have that courage of okay. Let me appoint you somewhere. Let me stand up with your head high. Mm -hmm. I can do this. Watch to Germany. We can do it. Yeah. Yes, okay. we can. Yeah, yeah because those are, most of the time <laughs> what to na to na taka kukuwa nyuma. Yeah. Yes, but now, this era we are in, I think we should stand out yeah. and keep our... Anything you're doing there as a young mother, as a young girl, Jiamini, mm -hmm. now you put your high head higher. Yeah. yeah, to know that I am, mm -hmm. I can do. Yeah. I, I trust in myself. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's all about yeah. trusting in yourself, as mm -hmm. I can say. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Maybe you could give us one of your best chorus or even a verse in one of your songs. To Chapier Freestyle. <laughs> okay. So, as I said, Aman is my favorite. And you time, Ba. Yes. Uh, it goes like. Nilipokuwa na mahanga iko. Sikuwa na mani moyoni Nilikuwa ni mashindwa mimi Lakini Yesu haku nisahau Halikuja kani pa amani Wo amani ye He amani yo O amani Maisha ni mwangu Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. So, tunapata up ingo mazako. Tell our viewers where you get your songs. Uh, you get my songs kwa YouTube channel, Hana Wawero. Yes. And also on my Facebook page, Hana Wawero. Uh, I've Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> You're a gospel musician, you should have an Instagram. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, thank you so much for your time, man. Yes. I was glad to have you. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching Top TV. My name is John Mataba. You can find us on the social media platforms at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Top TV.